right, so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. for the sparring sessions between these two and good on the UFC for getting this fight together. I mean, you know it was a hard fight to put together because these guys are brothers, but they are they have skill sets that are so similar that you know this is going to be a chess match at the highest level. Both of these guys are tremendous wrestlers. Both have great cardio. Both have really, really high level striking. Let's see who's going to be willing to take the first step backwards because I think that will dictate who gets the job done. Well, missed on that one. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nurmagomedov gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Big power shot there. Dick Pace early on to this one. Landed a solid punch there. Oh, he loves that elbow. Nice combination of elbows there. Man, this is wild if you like offense. These fighters are going at it. All gas, no brakes, baby. Let's go. In the half guard. Come on, come on now. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Leg kick lands. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Clean punch. And he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Nurmago Medov. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nurmago Medov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, nice. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get soft. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke, which is exactly what he's doing, and it looks like he has the arm under the neck. 
All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, Five. from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over. But stay patient, stay calm, relax, and found his way out of that deep submission. Nice leg kick. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots thus far. It's crazy because the takedown set up the striking. He is limiting himself in his approach because he's not using a skill that he's become known for. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Nice entry into the finish directly. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to... Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, no. He switches to armbar. He went all the way across. Now he's got to try to get his opponent's hands unlocked. High-level transition there. We'll see if he can ultimately separate this arm. you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. Was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well rounded They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up the submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, nice right hand from Habib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Islam Akasha. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the core position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Yep, that gets his feet. Oh, he's out. Islam Akashev gets back up again. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement. Right or left, get out of the way and avoid those shots. 
Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure. Take him for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. All right, so the fighter's setting up another sub attempt here. Ooh, that looks tight. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive rest. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Right in the mouth. Lands with the ground and pound. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He's got to be careful here. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Both fighters back to their feet now. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, and he takes him down again. What do they say if it's not broken? Don't fix it. Don't fix it, and it has not been broken. How will the opponent change this? Does he have the ability to change this? To this point, it does not look like it's so. Uh, watch the yard, there's the yard bar going up. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. He's having his way with him here. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. Oh, this is not good. Mounted, going for a submission. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, and he's out. Oh, 
We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Khabib's in half guard now. Two minutes to go in the round. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Hart has the guard closed here. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. That is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground the top. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Islam Akashev gets back up here. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nurmagomedov's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. That Darce is tight. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. This round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Makashev gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That's good defense to get that guard up. Front kick to the body by Nurmagomedov. He does everything so well. Double leg lands. Another big takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Good punch. Uh, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure. I'll take your action. Okay. Oh, crippling uppercut. 
Oh, and there it is again, DC. I know you're not surprised. You saw that one coming from a mile away. A mile away, because that's all we see over and over again. This guy shooting for takedowns and him securing takedowns. So it's no surprise the earnest is on his partner to try to change the course of this fight. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Islam Makasha. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack his arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fight. Mago Menov's in half goal. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura. Watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Two minutes to go. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nurmago Medov. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Another takedown land. Oh, Kamura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, he's gonna get him with it. Look at him bump and bridge. Straighten that arm. Get back into the direction that he was straightening the arm and get back to his knees. Great job. Makashev's in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Beautiful ground and pound. And it looks like he has a cut now. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. And now he's inside control. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Uh, 20 down, five to go. So that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready? You ready? Do it. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns, to feel good about the way things are going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up for top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Both fighters get up now. Beautiful straight punch there by Nurmago Meta. Nice crack there. Oh, and there it is again. He just continues. 
continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good getup, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Nice leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Misses again with a right punch. Another big thing. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of there. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you prep. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Jangle choke is locked in. Oh, he got out. Magomedov getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Oh, slick reversal right there. Go Medovs right back to the full mount here. Keep your hands up and keep that head moving. Head moving. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You've got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on to. Nice shot there by the champ. Right on the button. Lands a big elbow there. Takedown defense holds up. Massive elbow. Oh. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. And just misses with that big right hand. So another takedown here by Nermago Metal. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work. And now he's a good control. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Nermago Medov's in half guard now. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Nice transition. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, his ground. All right, so back to the feet we go after a lot of ground fighting. We'll see if he can rally here late in this final round. John, he needed this. He needed to get up to give himself an opportunity. Now he's got a chance. Does he cash it? He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Another big thing down. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. Bye, Bye.
All right, so judges' scorecards needed. Not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision,